Okay, um, in the first video, my last video, uh, we went over the, uh, the key point of the last video was that uh, you can't edit the, uh, the notes with the variations on. Uh, you can only edit the notes with the variations off. Uh, and this might seem like a big limitation, but something I didn't explain, uh, and I started thinking about this later, was that the, the real uh, power of this melody, edi melody editor is that the whole, the whole idea is that you're not going to, this isn't about normally, you know, putting in notes the way you'd normally do in a piano roll and editing them and changing them and moving them around. Uh, this is completely, uh, the whole idea of the melody editor is to be able to make these uh, edits power uh, by changing different parameters in, in the melody editor itself. That's the whole point. So, yeah, there are times when, you know, we want to change a note or here or there. But actually, um, the best way to do that, and I probably should have made this clear, um, is right up here, if you look at the top right, you have this drag MIDI, drag melody as MIDI. So um, what, what you're going to end up doing is you know, building out your melody in the melody editor. And then, as far as making any, you know, tweaks or changes, you're going to drag the MIDI out into maybe your favorite DAW, uh, drag and drop. And then, you know, you can make these these changes really easily in, in the uh, piano roll editor of your favorite DAW. Let's say that's Reaper or... Uh, Fruity Loops, I mean, Fruity Loops, I mean, their, their uh, piano roll is awesome. Uh, this, it's probably the best one I've ever seen. It seems just so fluid in the way it works. Uh, but whatever, you know, Studio One, I mean, they're all basically, uh, you know, you know what a piano roll editor is about. So that's the idea. Uh, so what might seem a limitation about editing... Uh, you know, the notes uh, without the variations applied is really not because what you're going to ultimately do is you're going to build up your melody with by using these variations instead of editing and using, you know, the standard piano roll techniques, you're going to use these variations. And by the way, you're going to find out how incredibly effective they are and interesting. Um, so you know, then you're going to, uh, the, the, what you're moving towards is to get a, a good sketch, uh, so to speak. And then with that MIDI, uh, you're going to do a drag and drop. Now, you can obviously bring it into uh, Rapid Composer uh, itself. Uh, you can do that. You know, you can copy and paste, and that's great. Maybe that's your workflow. I don't know. But in any event, uh, the what I want to stress is that uh, editing individual notes and things like that, it, you know, it's something uh, that you might want to do, uh, but it's not the the gist of this melody editor. Clearly, now there's one other point that's uh, you know that that's interesting, and I I hadn't really thought about this until. Uh, until after I did the video, and that is, here's a question like, okay, you, we know that you can't edit the, uh, the notes in the, in the grid, in the piano roll grid, you can't edit them in the, let's call it the uh, variation state, okay? So, I mean, if we apply it to this example here, what is our variation state? Well, the, with the variation off, we have a 
uh, a dotted half note there on C, right? Uh, on the second beat, it starts on the second beat, a dotted half note. With the variation on, we have uh, four, uh, I guess they would be uh, dotted, dotted eights. Yeah, four dotted eights, okay? In kind of a triplet rhythm. Uh, so here's a question. Um, again, we know that you can't edit the uh, the notes in the in the variation state. So I can't go in there and tweak one of these dotted eighth notes and move it to D or or whatever I want to do. But but my question was, well, I get that, but does the variation will the variations apply to the note that we edited um, and in this case we remember what we did was we had a whole note and we uh, we split it at the second beat and then we dragged it up to E so we had a whole note C split it at the second beat and then dragged it up to C so this is kind of like the uh, let's call it the manual edit this E here was manually edited rather than the program, uh, a variation in the program making this. Here's a simple question. When we do that, will, when, and we're done, will the variation apply to that new edited note uh, or the, the manually edited note? That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so, I mean, that was easy to test. So I go to my variations, and here's my split long notes. And if I drag this to four, what happens? Boom. My uh, The first quarter note is split. So that answers that. Okay. The answer is clearly yes. If you do a manual edit on on the notes, uh, the variations will apply to your to the new uh, to the notes that have been moved and manually edited. And that's the point I wanted to make. Uh, because when I started to think about it, I wasn't 100% sure. I thought, well, maybe, you know, once you, uh, when you do a manual edit on a note, uh, you know, uh, somehow, like, the variations can apply to that new edit or something. I don't know. But in any event, uh, now we know that. We've cleared that up for sure. And uh, we, can, we can move on. Okay? So I'm going to, uh, I know there was a lot of talking on this particular segment, but... I, I think it was important to kind of get uh, an overview of the, the whole, what you might call, you know, the manual edit limitation and, and also what happens when we manually edit notes. And again, the takeaway here is, look, don't worry about, you know, the manual, you know, manually editing because that's not what you're going to do in the melody editor, except for, you know, more isolated instances, okay? This is all about using these variations and these different parameters, and there's so many, and they're so powerful that, uh, you know, that's where you're going to, that's where you're going to live, okay? And then when you're done, uh, the developer uh, put in this beautiful uh, drag MIDI Drag Melody is MIDI uh, capability, which, by the way, is not anywhere else in the program. Yes, you can drag tracks, um, drag and drop them into DAWs and things like that. But, but kind of the convenience of this Drag Melody is, as uh, MIDI uh, is really cool, and it works perfectly. I, I tested it out. Uh, it just works. You know, it just it's beautiful. So. I, that's the workflow that I see uh, with the melody editor. You know, you're going to build up your melody, and you're going to and you're going to drag it, uh, drag that MIDI file, that MIDI melody, into uh, some other DAW or or work on it in uh, Rapid Composer if you want to do that. Now, also, uh, of course, you can save these these melodies and. Uh, and that's another, you know, another approach. So you can build up your library with that. But, uh, you know, w these are workflow issues, and everyone's going to uh, work out what, you know, what they like best. Okay? All right. See you next time.